is brought to you by and we are HTC. This morning, I don't know if this music will take him back to sleep, but <laughs> I hope it does not. <laughs> or, you know, let, let's just hope you get up because you'll be feeling awesome this morning. Uh, we've known for a long time the concept of wedding meetings. But when I first heard about this, I was really surprised. And this man has called it crowdfunding, to make sure that our artists, uh, not just musicians, uh, uh, you know, are empowered to, to sell their products, to make uh, themselves known to you, the public, to involve you more in their music. And uh, we're going to be talking to Elijah Chitaka this morning on the concept of crowdfunding, how it works, and whether it's successful for Ugandan arts. But before we get into that, take a look at his very, very rich profile. Elijah, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Michael, Thank you. on the, you know, I, I, I've always, I always look at you guys and uh, like one day I'll surely make it. <laughs> it's not too late for you. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Thanks for making it in, in time. You know, I, I've just been warning people. I hope that music does not take us to bed instead of waking us up. Elijah. Yes. Uh, first tell me, you know, you, 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 you do this thing. This, also, it's very popular on Radio 1. Tell me oh, yeah. about that. I've been doing a jazz show for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. I started out in uh, 2004. It's called Jazz Evenings. I'm on air every Sunday night. Mm. I start at 9 o'clock. I go until 10. Mm. I love to play jazz funk. I love to play smooth jazz. I like to feature wonderful talent like Michael Kitanda. Mm -hmm. And I hope you join me one of these days on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll run the show. <laughs> All right. I, I must confess, Serugo made me love your show. So Thank you. He, he uh -oh. tweets about it and I'm like, who is this guy? All right. Let me listen in. Welcome. Um, crowdfunding is very, it's a very new thing. I had never heard of it before. And when, when I was told about that, I thought of wedding meetings. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, is, is this the same concept? Where, how did you come up with this? So it's, it's, it's very new if you call it crowdfunding, mm -hmm. but the idea of, um, of putting people together and rallying them around a cause that you believe in and getting their support is actually not new. It's something that we've been doing you know, since time immemorial. Mm -hmm. uh, the particular concept that is called crowdfunding is probably traced back to 2008, 2009. Right. That's when the first you know, websites that are now very successful at crowdfunding actually came up. Mm. Uh, but we've been, you know, raising money for, as you call it, wedding meetings mm, mm. way before websites, right? Way before right. we're online, way before right. we knew the internet. Mm. And, and people have been collecting money to do these things that are important to them uh, way before. So the only thing that we've changed is um, we're trying to make it a slightly more kind of technology integrated. So with, with all these gadgets that you're flashing around, like mm. the HTC, mm. how can we leverage those to make some of these old concepts more efficient? How can we use them to reach more people? Right. Uh, so it's, it's basically been repackaged, and it's being applied to new cases. So now we have a case where you have a, an artist like Michael Kitanda. Mm. He's working on his first album, and he's like, you know, maybe I can get some people to support me on this and be part of my journey from the start. Right. Uh, and that's, that's what caused us to start. It. Right. Michael. You, you are, you know, I, I've, I've listened to a couple of your singles. I play them on my radio show. Uh, Some Sanja Agenda uh, is very popular. I think uh, my producer on the radio show is about to tell me, stop playing that thing. <laughs> stop. Um, how did you come? First of all, has it worked for you? Are people helping you? Have you seen the benefits of this? Surely, yeah. I have benefited uh, in, in so, many, so much ways. Mm. First of all, I get to contact my 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 loyal fans. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I get to see who my loyal, my loyal fans are. 
Second, of course, I, I, the most important of all, I get to know that my work is really appreciated. Mm. And, and, and there's, a quite a, there's quite a good number of people who have come up to support my project. Right. And most encouraging is some of them, are, most of them are strange. Yeah, so I've really benefited. When did you, when, how long have you been doing this, the jazz? Uh, I ventured into jazz in the year 2009. Yeah, that was in my S5. <laughs> that's when that was the first time you played the saxophone. No, I had, I played saxophone from way back primary school and right. Yeah, so I started loving jazz saxophone in 2009. Mm. Yeah, so I uh, kept on going, played in a few bands here and there. Right. Around Kampala, then um, finally working on an album. On your album. Yeah. Well, later you're going to sample us something. That's right. Uh, Hopefully. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> what other artists are you working with? So we currently have three artists. We've just launched. It's only two months in. Uh, the website is feza.com. We've got uh, Michael Kitanda was the first. So uh, Michael had been kind of running after me because of my radio show. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes, and mostly, it's the same yeah, thing. it's the same thing. So mostly when musicians are trying to find you, uh, if you're on radio, if you're on TV, they're typically looking for two things. They're looking for airplay or they're looking for sponsorship. Mm. You know, they, they're looking for a way to get out there and do what they love mm. and take it to more people. Uh, so Michael came to me and he sent me his music. He said, you know, take a listen. If you like it, please play it on your show and you know, let me know what you can do so that I can right. release my first album. Right. And I listened to it, I liked it, I played it on my show, first time in December, last December actually. Mm. And I got really good feedback. And, right. and I sat down with Michael, I told him, look, I'm working on this thing called Feza. Uh, I'm passionate about the arts, I'm passionate about music. Mm. I, think, I think we can, mm. I think we can, we can work together mm. to help you move faster. Mm. And we could get these people that are excited about your music to support you. Mm. Uh, not just by sending SMSs on the show, yeah. but to actually, you know, put their money where their mouth is and mm. support new talent. So do you tell people, you know, like uh, auctioning CDs and you're like, I'm oh, going once, going <laughs> twice, uh, Michael's, uh, who's buying this particular song, stuff like that. Do you do that? No, not quite, but maybe you should do that for us. It, it might work. Yeah, so, so I <laughs> might get on and, and, you know, because uh, someone also told me, I saw a very interesting concept online where Maurice Kiria bought his guitar and, you know, involved his fans to name the guitar and then did this thing at his, you know, at the cafe. And is that where music now, does that also tie in into what Faiza is doing? Yes, it's, it's about engagement. I think anything that you're doing in this age, because people are so connected, you've got to figure out a, an efficient way to engage your audience. Right. Uh, so Maurice does that really well. And mm. Maurice has been you know, at social media for a long time. Mm. Uh, and I think that's, that's what fuels crowdfunding. This whole idea that uh, people that you don't know, but people that love your work, yes. can come together and, and you can give them visibility. Mm. You know, if you go to our website, you see the people that have supported him, you see the people that have supported Shaka's project and yes. Pragmo. Mm. And, and it's very public, it's very transparent. Mm. Uh, so I think that whole idea of engagement is going to fuel the arts going forward. Right. Michael, yes, it's time to put where, you know, let's just feel, I like the same Sadia Agenda, so I think maybe let's start with that. And you play something from your new album. Your new album is called Sax... 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 Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, why Sax <laughs> Um, First of all, Sax is S-A-X mm -hmm. for saxophone, mm -hmm. short, short for saxophone. Then faction. So the whole album Sax Faction is just meant to give the listener a right. beat of, not, not just a beat but a whole new direction of satisfaction. Right. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Michael Chitaka on the Stand saxophone. Uh, <laughs> oh. yeah, you guys have the same name. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right. Take it uh, away. You, you requested for same Saji again? Yes, same Saji again. Okay.
right. Well, Sam Sajja is a folk song. Mm -hmm. I guess he used to sing to that in those years, mm. in the childhood years. Yeah, it's a folk song from Boganda. Right. Yeah. Just, you, you have a full, you know, jazz show. Yes. And, and you, you started, you know, the, the, the Nile Safari thing. You know, it's very popular. It's, it gets yeah. sold out. It gets sold out for two years running now. Yeah. And, uh, and last, you know, I missed the, the recent one because I found when the thing was so packed, I'm like, ah, you know what, let me so just go home. You need to go confess. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reached Serena and it was packed. Yeah. But what are you trying uh, to do to make sure that jazz music is appreciated by people? Even be, because it's believed that jazz music is for the corporate people. Sure, sure. You know, guys, rich people who want to just keep quiet <laughs> and uh, listen <laughs> and think while Michael is doing his thing. <laughs> but how are you reaching the guy, you know, in Arua Park doing his thing, but when he starts that saxophone, he's up? Yeah, so I, I, I don't buy into the whole idea that jazz is for, for the affluent, mm -hmm. I think. That positioning needs to go away, and, and we need to take it away very quickly. Mm -hmm. I think if you look into the history of jazz and the people that uh, that grew jazz, you know, back when it started, it, it's even traced back to a bit of slavery and, right. and a bit of Africa, and that mm -hmm. is <laughs> nothing about affluent. Right? Mm -hmm. So there is nothing affluent about about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think artists like Michael and bringing this kind of uh, of of cultural integration and you know taking Ugandan sounds or Ugandan songs that you previously know mm. and giving them a new flavor and interpreting them their own way Th that can help in making it accessible to different people because uh, you know you hear the song and you're like oh I know Sam Saja but yeah. what, what's going on here how is yeah. he playing it yeah uh, and you'll become curious over time right so it takes time nothing nothing works as quickly as would like it to work I think if you want to grow adoption of anything, it, it takes a couple of years. The jazz, you know, the jazz safari took four years without selling out. We only started selling out in the fifth year. Wow. Uh, so it takes time. Uh, with time, we'll, we'll make progress. Right. Uh, Michael, you know, you guys obviously, it takes a lot to come up with something like that. Um, how are you also reaching out to your fans to make sure that, you know, your music is easily sold? Apart from what FESA is doing, I love the concept of you know, crowdfunding, you know, I think it's, it's, we keep, you know, raising money for people who we don't even know. But now, if I'm your fan, I think I can buy your music. I've been having conversations with someone about buying an original CD, not just getting it off online, yeah. mm -hmm. but go and buy a CD for Michael, maybe from Garden City or Nakumat or wherever these CDs are sold and own it. What are you doing to reach the fans? Um. I think uh, the 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 concept I'm using at like uh, Spanau is social media, mm. which is quite working well. And and we have we have a deadline uh, where uh, the CDs are going to reach out to the people. Uh, and if you if you looked at the Phaser Phaser project closely. Uh, very soon, uh, people are going to start getting the hard copies of, like, like you, of course. I'll have to come to your office and deliver it to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to buy your CD. Sure. I don't want it for free. No, no, no. I no. Think, yes, I want to buy it because I yeah, think yeah. that's one of the ways you can support that's true. Charlie. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Charles the Blessing Banda says, uh, this guy Elijah can't exhaust his hub of great ideas. Oh, wow. All right. I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> and they're asking you, can you work on Kwanjula? <laughs> They ask Michael. Yes, they ask me. Can you work on quite Sure, sure. <laughs> All right. Um, sample us something from your new album, Satisfaction. Oh. Uh, have you like listened to any other song on Satisfaction? I, 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 I listened to one yesterday, but I don't even. I thought it was some guy from, you know, the US. <laughs> till, that's the effect that we want. Till the presenter <laughs> said, Michael. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that's the effect we want. So I guess that was Satisfaction, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's let's take it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Michael, you know what? I, I wish you, you know, great, you'll come back one day and teach us how to do that thing, basics, because you must have a lot of air, you know, in, in your mouth, I, I believe. <laughs> He will tell you about it. Yeah. Don't Elijah, quick, you know, word before, you know, we go about Ugandans being engaged. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so what drives me, I guess, on mm. FESA is this mm. idea in believing in people. Over the 10 years that I've been doing the show, doing these shows puts you in a very unique position because you have access to two kinds of people. You've got access to people that love the arts, mm -hmm. and you've also got access to people that make the arts, you know, people like Michael. Right. And, and the thing that shocks me is how much creativity and talent we've got in all these countries, not just Uganda, but across all of Africa, that is waiting to explode right. if someone just believed in them. And, and I think, for me, that's, that's what is driving me on FESA. If we can start believing in, in these people, even before we see the result, mm. you know, some things have to be believed to be seen. It's, yes. it's easy to see things and believe. Yeah. But that's for the lazy person, right? The, yeah. Yeah. the person that changes the world needs to believe things before they are seen, before they are visible. I need to be able to believe that this, this guy here yeah. can be a great musician because right. he's got great passion and he's been working at it for a long time. Yeah. And we need to get more people to believe in him oh. and get him to that point where he wants to go. Uh, right. so, so my last words would be, believe, believe in the arts, believe in the talent that we have here and the creativity, mm. and let's unlock it and explode it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you can uh, tune in to Radio 1 FM 90 Thank you. and uh, <laughs> listen to uh, <laughs> Elijah. Uh, that is every Sunday night. Sunday 9 night, 9 p.m. to 10. To 10, yes. Yes, the jazz evenings. And of course, uh, look out for Michael Chitanda's new album, Satisfaction, coming uh, to you very t You know, when it comes out, I'll definitely let you know and you can go to the stores and buy it. Don't just rip the music off the, you know, there's uh, iRetunes.com. We shall block Michael so that you have to buy it. <laughs> and standing by is Isma. Good morning, Isma. Good morning. I've, met, I've definitely met Elijah before, and uh, I love the jazz. I, hopefully, it's one of the genres of music that Uli Hones, the Bayern Munich president, will be listening to as it goes to jail for the next three and a half years for tax evasion. But when we get back to the sport, we'll be talking about the Lady Captain's Prize. We'll do a bit of the Europa League. We are Tottenham way humbled by Benfica at home. And look ahead to the big clash at Old Trafford between Manchester United and Liverpool. There's no reason why you should walk away from morning at NTV. Right. It's my day. Also features on uh, Radio 1's locker room. I'm, I'm having a Radio 1 thing here in the morning. Eh? All right. <laughs> we'll be right back with Mabel, Isma and I on the Sports Update. Good morning.